Hey guys, Dave again. Um, just coming at you with another another little update of what's going on in the shed. So, I've been a little relaxed with the update, so I haven't updated you guys in ages, but sorry about that. Anyway, here we go. Um, this is the Jun helmet that I've still got five of. There's still five of them up there. People can still buy them. Yeah. Uh, I painted this one up just, uh, you know, quick over to see if I could actually paint properly. And I, I think I got it all right. It's not too bad of a paint job. It's, you know, we got a little bit, we got a few gaps there, but I just fill that in with silver and make it look like battle damage or whatever. I don't like the green either. I think I'm going to replace this green with that one on the next helmet that I do. The other one that's primed up there. So, yeah, it looks pretty cool at the moment. I did little bits of, you can see the silver and the silver through there and the silver, it looks like scratch marks. Looks like a, I don't know, if someone stepped on a grenade and went, little bits of shrapnel, cut him up. I don't know, whatever. I thought it looked cool. Tell me what you guys think of my paint job, see if it's, if it's any good or if it's, you know, not, not, not any good. Anyway, that's the helmet, the update on the helmet front. Um, yeah, over here. I just was playing around and I thought, well, why don't I just make a Borderlands mask? So, you guys might think that's good, you, might get, you guys might think that's shit, but I don't care. I think it looks pretty cool. I'll put it on just so you guys can see with it. On me! Boop. And, yeah. So, that was sculpted in clay over the top of. One of a uh, replica of my face. I think that um, mannequin that was sitting there for a while was the one I did it over the top of. So yeah, that's perfectly sized for me. I'm happy to sell a few too if you guys want to. They'll be going pretty cheap, probably about hundred, hundred dollars, maybe eighty dollars. I don't know. Plus postage. It didn't take me all too long to make, and there wasn't that much money involved in the silicon. Oh, this is the mold that it came out of too. Oh, yeah, yes. That's the negative. And that's the positive. And that's just. Silicon reinforced with fiberglass, and then the the um, resin was poured in there, sloshed around, and then it hardened and I pulled it out. That's what came out. So that's that. Um, what else? What else? What else? That's another project entirely that I'm not going to talk of at the moment. But we'll go back to something that everyone's familiar with: a good old shotgun. Just give it a little pan. I'm pretty close, like very close to calling this done. And then I might, might, might not make a mold of um, make a mold of it and sell it. Um, if you guys like the idea of me making a mold of it and selling it, um, how about you give me a little, shoot me a message and say that you're interested. It's not going to be cheap, but where the bloody hell did it go? You'd probably run you about three, three hundred and fifty dollars, or something along those lines. I'm not entirely sure yet. I'm trying to find the torch that I did up. Um, very unprofessional, guys. I know, but there we go. There it is. You'll get over it. So, I light, did um, a little torch in the lathe because there's a torch on the blueprints. I thought, oh, that's pretty cool. Let's do a torch. I couldn't get the um, little grip on the torch in the um, 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 um I'm saying that a lot. Um, the, to <laughs> the torch, the, um, the grip stuff that's normally on it. I'll show you. So you know what I'm talking about. I'm not just crapping on about random shit. That bit there. I couldn't get that to come across in the actual piece, but that's alright. Life goes on. So that'll all be glued in there at some point. Okay, so, now, what did I do since last time? I've done all these little bead things. I think I straightened bits out here and there too. To make it look more level and better. Um, I didn't do anything up that end. Did this bit here. Little bits of um, grip. They're on both sides. The other side as well. And that's just, I don't know. I thought I'd do some detailing. Got bored one day. And I also put the trigger system in. So it's, there's a, it's all sprung. There's this big spring up in there. And there's another a bit of a system going on in there. So I just boop, bring it back, boom. It's a sprung load, and I thought that was pretty cool. Little little experimentation. So, now, I'll 
give you a little pan of what it looks like. So start up this end, and just float along. Oh, and the holes. Those three holes are just so that I could get nails into the arm, or pins, into the um, trigger system so that it didn't fall out. They'll be body filled over and, you know, hidden. Okay, we just keep moving along. I think I did this bit here too, since last time. That's nice and nice and finished up. Let's go over again. Oh, bloody Fallout Boy song stuck in my head. Okay, so that's about it, I think. I've shown you the mask, the shotgun. That other project that I'm not going to talk about at the moment. And the helmet. So, I'm all good. I shall depart. Thank you guys for tuning in and watching this video. If you like it, subscribe. Like the video. If you don't, don't do anything. Dislike the video. I don't really care. So, see you all next time.